What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's second video, we are talking Star Wars Celebration 2023 Day 1 Recap. Please consider liking and subscribing for more videos and coverage of Star Wars Celebration. Thanks, and now the news. Uh, first up are the movies that the, they announced. Um, they announced three. The first one is set 15 years after the rise of Skywalker, and Rey will be in it and she'll apparently rebuild the Jedi Order. Uh, this movie will be directed by Charmaine Obey Shinoy, uh, who directed some of Miss Marvel and will, and this movie will be written by Stephen Knight with no confirmed release date, but it could release in December of 2025. The next movie will be set in the Mandoverse and will be the culmination of all those shows. It will be directed by Dave Filoni, who who did Clone Wars and is part of Mando. It will be apparently very heavily inspired by the Expanded Universe, in particular the Heir to the Empire and the Thrawn trilogy. Uh, this also does not have a release date, so who knows. Uh, the third and final film will be a Dawn of the Jedi movie set 25,000 years before the movies, taking heavy inspiration from the Dawn of the Jedi comics from Legends. It will be directed by James Mangold, uh, who did, you know, Logan. Uh, he's also doing the newest Indiana Jones movie, The Dial of Destiny. So, And he described the movie as a biblical epic. So we'll see. And uh, you might be asking, what did you think of these movie announcements? Well, the Ray movie, uh, I'm not interested in it whatsoever. Uh, I didn't like the sequel trilogy, so uh, more sequel stuff is not what I wanted. So I'm not looking forward to that one. The Mandoverse movie by Filoni, uh, that could be cool. It really depends on where The Mandalorian and its spinoff shows are at that point, depending if they've gone gone off the cliff or not. It, it, it's hard to say, because if, if, if we have to lean too heavily into the sequel trilogy, I'm against that, you know? I, I don't think, and I don't think Mando has to lean in the sequel trilogy. We'll see. Uh, as for the Dawn of the Jedi movie, well, more Jedi is a good thing. Uh, but if I'm being honest, what I've read of the Dawn of the Jedi stuff from Legends, which is just the Dawn of the Jedi Into the Void by Tim Lebin, that book. So that's all I've read. Uh, I didn't like that. And the the little tidbits and things I have heard and and seen of the comics and that, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the Jedi's origin in Legends, but... I haven't consumed the whole story, so we'll see. But maybe in canon they'll make some tweaks, and, and maybe it'll be cool. So we'll see. But uh, as for the shows, uh, first they dropped an Ahsoka teaser trailer. Um, I've already made a video reacting to this earlier today and breaking it down. Uh, there will be a link to it in the description, but I'll give – I'll give a little bit of what I thought. Uh, lots of Rebels references, and it's a clear continuation of that show. So if you like that show, you'll probably like Ahsoka. You get to see Thrawn, at least from the back of his head. So that that's cool. Uh, that's cool. And uh, Huang from the Clone Wars, you know, uh, from the Clone Wars arc where he helps the younglings build their lightsabers. That is, yeah, he's in there. So that's cool. Uh, they then showed only to the people attending the panel, a trailer for the Acolyte and a trailer for Skeleton Crew. If you dig around, you might be able to find some trailers, some of the footage for these and the Andor season two trailer. Um, but it won't be high quality, obviously. So the Acolyte had some scenes in the Jedi temple where a master was teaching a class of either younglings or Padawans. You could also see a hooded character, probably the main character, the Acolyte. And she fights a Jedi. And uh, the way they fight using the Force, it looks like, it, it does kind of look like the Matrix or like a Kung Fu movie. It's kind of, it, it, it almost looks kind of like dancing a little bit. So if you like that style of combat in those movies, you'll probably like that in the show. Uh, this show is set in the High Republic era. So 
if you're a fan of that era, you'll probably like this show. And uh, there's also quite a few alien characters in it. So that's cool if you're a fan of aliens. So, and if you've watched enough of my videos, you would know that I am a big alien fan in Star Wars. So hopefully there's some cool prequel aliens. The next show, uh, Skeleton Crew, uh, this was also only shown to the people in the panel. Uh, we see a classroom and several kids. And one of the kids is uh, what I think is an Ortolan or, you know, Max Rebo from the Max Rebo band in Return of the Jedi, the blue elephant looking guy, basically, uh, I think. We also see the Nikto pirate, Vane, from Mando Season 3, which uh, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, there's other thing. Th this one was kind of hard to see what was going on. So, yeah, not a whole lot else. And uh, then you have Andor Season 2. Uh, which again was only shown to the people attending the panel. Uh, it really just looks more like Andor. So if you if you liked season one of Andor, I think you'll like season two. It's really hard. Again, this one was hard to see what was going on. I mean, you see all the major characters from season one, and that. So it it, it just looks like more of the same. So that's that's cool if you like that show. And now I will rate my excitement for all of these projects on a scale of one to ten. The Ray movie, uh, 1 out of 10. The Mandoverse movie, a 7 out of 10. The Dawn of the Jedi movie, a 5 out of 10. Uh, the Ahsoka TV show, a 9 out of 10. The Acolyte show, 3 out of 10. Skeleton Crew, a 3 out of 10. And then Andor Season 2, a 2 out of 10. Now you might say, why is Andor low? Well, I did not like Season 1 of Andor, so I'm not that excited for Season 2. What what is probably has me the most excited is the potential, I, don't, I guess references to I don't know maybe rebels or things like that, a cool rebelliony type things. So we'll see. What did you think of these announcements? What are you most looking forward to? Are you excited for more Ray? Did you like the Ahsoka trailer? Uh, you can tell me uh, what you thought of all this in the comments section down below. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.